First of all, yes, uh, we're obviously very excited uh, by this uh, um, uh, acquisition. Uh, full credit to the Infineon team, as well as the uh, GAN systems team to, to lead us to, to where we are today. Now, the wider, the broader the GAN portfolio will give us this ability to reinforce our leadership in power systems. And from our perspective, it really will help us then address the target applications through this incredible technology called gallium nitride. Yeah. Um, increasing sort of your, your understanding of power systems and the like as well. I mean, what advancements are you looking towards? I mean, some of the key elements that GAN has certainly gone into is a future look at the EV market. Uh, and, and, and that has obviously been very topical of late. Uh, would that be of, of interest to you as Infineon? Yeah, it's a great question. So we're actually targeting a number of applications where coupling the gallium nitride with our ICs, we can target the power systems. The applications include EV, as you suggested, for example, on the onboard charger. Here, what we're looking to do is bring better efficiency, um, bring down the size, meaning better density, and overall offer our customers um, cost savings in that application. But onboard charger is just one. We also have other applications, including the adapter chargers. Um, we also are targeting servers to support the uh, green server uh, topic that is hot at the moment in the industry. So these are the types of applications, of course, coupled with residential solar. Yeah, it's very interesting because at a time like this, the, the uh, chip market, the semiconductor market, has certainly been one that uh, has faced quite a bit of uh, headwinds and there's been uh, relational gaps, if you want to call it that, as well. Um, how much of this... How much does this deal put, uh, put you in perhaps what is a vital position to take advantage of any shortcomings, uh, particularly as that trade war sort of continues between the U.S. and China? Yeah, so let me just first of all talk about, of course, we've had these mega trends within the semiconductor um, industry. And of course, with um, this acquisition, we've got some internal um, uh, manufacturing capabilities through our own foundries. Now, with the successful closing, of course, with the correct compulsory uh, closing conditions, regulatory conditions, we're also very much looking forward to working with foundry partners that really gives us then this ability to um, help uh, bring up further manufacturing scale. Now, regarding um, America and China, look, in Finian, you know, we, we enjoy um, and we are very much open to free market conditions. And we're looking forward to obviously working with this technology with the target customers um, in, in the relevant uh, regions. Yeah, I, I suppose demand becomes the key factor to look out for here. Um, you know, and, and considering then that uh, it was a major player in the Canadian semiconductor market, some may feel disappointed then um, that it is somewhat having, having, hasn't reached its full potential as a company, that being GAN Systems. Uh, how do you exploit that? How do you make sure that it does perhaps reach its full potential, even though it is within uh, Infineon's, uh, Infineon's operations now? Yeah, so first of all, we have to get to closing conditions. Just at the moment, we're only at signing. Um, but look, um, GAN Systems have done a tremendous job. We're, we're at the beginning, we're at the tipping point, what we believe of customers really understanding the value of gallium nitride. Um, in simple terms, it is not a drop-in replacement. Gallium nitride really needs our customer engineers to look at redesigns, look at new topologies to unleash the potential. Now, with that, Infineon takes a long-term perspective. And whilst today the revenue may be a little bit smaller than, than you would imagine, for example, with other technologies like silicon carbide and silicon, we believe all three will have a fundamental home to service the customers as well as the value proposition.